Lord. I lay down on the grass just outside, underneath the shade of the gum trees, and looked up at the sky, at the clouds. The wind with their feather-like touch took my mind away, back to a time in my life when I first remember laying there and looking up at the clouds. I think the early 1980s, and I was about 10 or 11 years old on our little family farm in Inala, Richlands, in Brisbane. And all of a sudden there was Benji laying on the ground. Right next to him was a book, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And I thought, what would I say to little Benji laying there under mango tree, knowing what I now know? It was a special time. I made so many friends, only then to move on and join the army. <laughs> Something else extraordinary also happened at that time. I met this beautiful blue-eyed girl called Jodie, who later became my wife. The highlight of my military career was deploying on operational service as part of the International Force in East Timor in 1999. In 2000, I came home, but something was different. I wasn't quite sure. Something had changed inside of me. There were dark clouds out in the horizon. <laughs>